Hi, welcome to Biostock Studio. Achillion is a biotech company based in Helsingborg, Sweden, focused on developing new treatments for diseases caused by chronic inflammation and dysfunctional immune reactions. Today, the company is announcing a major licensing deal and collaboration agreement with Merck in Darmstadt, Germany. I'm joined in the studio by Chief Executive Officer Sarah Fredriksson, Chief Business Officer Frederick Lindgren, and Chief Discovery Officer Martin Johansson. First of all, congratulations for this major milestone. What does it all mean for Achillion? Thank you so much. Uh, this collaboration and licensing deal with Merck means a great lot to us. It inspires us as a team, of course, and it will uh, strengthen our financial ability to continue to develop interesting drug discovery projects and strengthen our pipeline. And three years ago, we made an active decision to make Achillion a biotech company and develop our own drug discovery programs within chronic inflammation. And one could say that this deal actually validates that decision today. And why was this deal made now and not in the late, later stages of development? Oh, that is completely in line with our business model, I would say. We should identify the right drug target, which could be hard, of course, develop it into an interesting data package that could attract potential partners within Big Pharma or the biotech. And, of course, early deal-making is a question of timing, I would say. Uh, for Alnitech, we had reached a point in the development where we saw that we have an uh, interesting data package, we could potentially attract the right partner, uh, and it could be a really good fit now. Frederick, being head of business development at Achillion, could you tell us more about how this deal came to fruition? First, I'd like to say I think this, this deal is really the result of a, a diligently executed uh, business development strategy for the program. Uh, Martin and I, we started the marketing some two and a half years ago at these partnering conferences. Uh, at the time, it was digital because it was still during the pandemic. Uh, you know, meeting with potential partners, presenting the, the, the program, building up the interest, you know, uh, step by step. And then, you know, uh, qualifying some of them under the CDA, confidentiality agreements, and then um, allowing for them to present a non-binding offer. There has been data room visits, due diligence, and then finally, I think, selecting Merck as the partner we would like to take to, to signature and do the negotiation of this final agreement. Mm. Uh, so it has been a, a very long, uh, sometimes a, a tough journey, uh, but I think now today it's, it's extremely rewarding for us. It's all worth it uh, for sure. And ha have you been working with an M&A advisor? Uh, not for this deal, no. I think that business development is truly at the heart of, of Achillion's business model, as Sarah described. So uh, at least for this transaction, we have been trusting the internal capabilities for, mm -hmm. for this. Uh, Sarah, as I understand, um, Alnitak is the result of a truly in-house inno innovation, and it has been developed within Achillion. Uh, what are the key factors behind this successful development? I would say without a doubt that it's the team, uh, the individual team members and their skills, experience and global network in the business taken together that made it possible to choose this target and continue the development of, of the program. And in addition to that, uh, the patience, trust and financial support from our shareholders during this last uh, couple of years has been uh, a success factor as well. Mm. Martin, you, you are one of the uh, inventors uh, at Achillion and also responsible for the discovery at the company. Um, what is TAC1 and why is it such an interesting drug target? So TAC1, it's a, it's a protein, it's an intracellular protein, and it's an enzyme which belongs to a class of enzymes called kinases. And these are very important and I would also say successful class of drug targets. And TAC1 in particular, there's science showing that it's involved in the signaling mechanisms in the cell related to inflammatory processes. And these processes we know are linked to what we see in patients suffering from chronic illnesses like autoimmune disease and inflammation. So by blocking the function of TAC1, we hope that we can you know, either dampen or stop these uh, inflammatory processes. So we believe that a drug that targets TAC1 can be used as a medicine or a treatment for these patients. 
So we are very excited to see how you know we're progressing our program through development and towards the clinic. And we are not the first people going after TAC1, and it's a target with lots of challenges. So I'm, you know, I'm very proud of the team's achievements when it comes to providing what we believe is, you know, best in class TAC1 inhibitors. Mm -hmm. uh, Frederick, uh, in your opinion, what is the driver behind this deal? Uh, what makes Alnitec com commercially interesting already at these uh, early development stages? Yeah, I think as, as Martin uh, said, I think the TAC1 uh, represent new and interesting biology to, to most. Uh, no company has been able to successfully take a TAC1 therapeutic into the clinic uh, uh, so far. So I think the opportunity is what we say, you know, could be a first in class. Uh, and, and that normally triggers a lot of interest from potential partners also at this relatively early stage uh, where we are right now. Mm -hmm. And uh, could you just describe this deal in terms of uh, payment and, and what does licensing and strategic collaboration mean? Sure. Um, I mean, under this agreement, Merck will receive an exclusive license to the program, to all the compounds and to the know-how that we have generated so far. Uh, in addition to, to this, we will start a kind of a joint forces into a research collaboration. We will further expand the scope of the program and explore, uh, you know, many, you know, a broad range of indications in inflammatory disease and including neurological uh, diseases. So uh, for this, as the press release states, we will receive a 10 million euro upfront in cash for that. And then, you know, a numerous milestone uh, payments from development into regulatory commercial setting and in aggregate that will sum up to over 900 million euro in total. And on top of that, we will of course receive royalties on global net sales of any uh, product coming out of the collaboration. Very big deal indeed. Uh, Martin, how do you and your colleagues uh, identify early innovative projects and find those targets? First of all, I would like to say that Achillean is a very science-driven company and we believe, you know, innovation is key to everything we do. So when choosing a new target to start a project uh, for, we, um, we have uh, like a, a target list that we try to map with different types of biology and then we will use the joint experience and knowledge of the team to, you know, find the best fit. And we can work with, you know, open source scientific literature, patents, databases, but also use the network of scientists that we know that are active in the field. So this is a task we take very seriously, but we also meet it with great enthusiasm. It's very exciting work. But we also know that the choice of the right target is essential because target-related attrition or failure is the greatest risk in the clinic. So what we choose today will affect us further down the line. So we see this as very important and I think we have confidence and we can build what we feel is the uh, Achillean edge here. Mm -hmm. Well, speaking of further down the line, uh, are there any similar projects uh, uh, that you have in your pipeline that are have similar potential uh, at Achillean? Yes, we believe that we do. We, we are continuously active in this field and we will continue working within the area of autoimmune and inflammatory diseases. And uh, we'll be uh, looking forward to when Sarah and Frederick can continue to present these externally. Mm -hmm. That was our conversation about Achillean and uh, their recently announced uh, collaboration with Merck in Germany. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.